Have you ever wondered why those AI agent product demos look so impressive? But when you try them yourself, your results feel a bit disappointing. Sometimes it comes down to one thing, prompting. With the right prompt, the same AI agent can transform a website like this to something like this. That's how crucial prompting is. Hi, I'm Zoe from Fluid, an AI startup where we've run thousands of agent cases. Today, I'm going to share one simple prompt formula we use every day to get good results, but also show you two cheat methods so you don't have to start from scratch each time. By the end of this video, you're going to become a master AI agent prompt engineer. And let's get started. So before AI agents, using AI was more like visiting a clinic. You describe your problem, get a quick answer, and move on. It's super efficient, but fairly simple. With AI agents, the relationship becomes a bit more complicated. It's more like you're the manager and an agent is your employee. You're asking for big things, a website, an app, or even a game. These are projects that come with a lot of moving parts. Just like any good manager, you need to do the following things. First, assign your employee a role, define the objective, provide sufficient context, give clear instructions, and set expectations through examples. And that's where our method comes in. We call it the ROCI formula, R-O-C-I-E, which stands for Role, Objective, Context, Instructions, and Examples. Let's delve into this using this case as a demo. First, define a role. In this case, we want to build an e-commerce website for home appliances. So the first thing that we want to do is define a persona or function for our agent. This is a common practice in strong prompting. In our case, we ask the agent to take on the role of an e-commerce category manager for home appliances because we are building an online store for that specific category. And second, define the objective. Now that the role is clear, give your agent the objective. Clarify the output. Do you want a website or a research report, a slide deck, or even a game? Here we wanted a web page. So we wrote, your task is to create a compelling website for the home appliances e-commerce category. It's simple and clear. Moving on, context. Just like in any workspace, giving your colleagues the bigger picture helps the team work towards the right goals. So here, we explain that the website's purpose is to engage visitors and drive sales. You can also include other forms of content like target audience, customer preferences, or business constraints to give your agent the information that it needs to succeed. Fourth, instructions. This is where you describe what you want exactly. So maybe try close your eyes and visualize what kind of end product you want your agent to deliver. And then describe that vision to your AI agent. In this case, we specified how many products to include in this page, what types of media and interactivity to include, how the layout and functionality should work. You don't always need to spell out every micro step because our agent is capable of planning, but if you want the task done in a specific way or order, be clear about that. For example, we asked our agent to do research before generating images. This ensures the design reflects current trends and don't feel outdated. Last but not least, example. It's super helpful when you are having trouble putting your ideas into words or just don't feel like typing a whole essay. Examples could be anything. In links, images, or simply naming a few brands or platforms your agent can use as inspiration. So in our case, we referenced Best Buy, Home Depot, and Amazon appliances to set a clear visual and functional standard. One of the best things about using Flowith is that our agent asks for confirmation before moving on to resource intensive steps. It's so sweet, it's so considerate, and it really feels like working with a professional teammate. You can even set custom checkpoints by telling our agent something like, check with me after picking a branch style or pause after generating images for approval. These feedback loops are a huge credit saver and make sure you stay in control. That's it, the Rosie method. Now you've got a simple framework to follow whenever you're writing prompts for your AI agent. It keeps things clear, structured, and makes your agent way more useful. But let's be honest, writing detailed prompts every time is simply too much work. So here are two smart ways to cheat and save yourself a ton of time. First, use a knowledge base. So on Fluid, there's a super handy feature called the Knowledge Market. It's basically a place where people share pre-built knowledge bases and your AI can tap into them to get way smarter. For example, there's a free one specifically designed to help your AI agent write better prompts during execution. So just add it to your own knowledge garden, turn on knowledge base, select it, then enter a few words. With the help from this knowledge base, your AI will work with an enhanced context and give you better results. And second, steal like a pro. 
So if you ever need a little inspiration, just head over to the Asian community on Flowit and check out real projects made by other users. There's a gold mine of prompts in the space. When you find the one you like, just copy it, tweak it to fit your needs and you're good to go. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video gave you some solid tools to level up your prompt game. Here at Flowit, we're always thinking ahead and we're imagining perhaps one day humans won't need to learn how to prompt anymore and AI tools will adapt to our natural way of expressing ourselves. But until then, the Rosy method and these shortcuts are here to make your life easier. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe drop a comment below. Your support means a lot to us. And hey, if you haven't tried Flowit before, now's the time. Our HMO is so good. Check the comments below for your exclusive invitation code just for our YouTube viewers. Go create something great and we'll see you next time.